All right, how are we doing? I'm Sean Campbell, and today we're gonna have our very first Workout Warrior Spotlight, okay? And we're gonna have one of the very, the, one of the greatest UFC fighters of all time, George Rush St. Pierre, also known as GSP. Okay, not only is he a, an amazing champion, He's also the embodiment of what, uh, what it is to be a workout warrior. So let's jump into his, um, his story, and it starts now. George St. Pierre, better known as GSP, is a two division UFC champion. That's welterweight and middleweight. And one of the most well-rounded and respected fighter, fighters in the sports history. From his meticulous training regimen to his mental toughness, GSP has set the standard for excellence in mixed martial arts. Let me share with you what makes GSP a workout warrior, okay? In this video, we're gonna talk about his childhood, his rise to UFC stardom, his training methods, and his mindset that he used to get him on top of his game in the UFC. So if you're looking to get inspired by a story of a true champion, a true workout warrior, look no further. George St. Pierre was born on May 19th in 1981 in St. Isidore, Quebec, Canada. George had a difficult childhood and at the school he attended when he was a child, he was bullied. At the age of seven, he began taking Ki Yao Ku Shin Karate to defend himself against the bullies at school. And Ki Yao Ku Shin Karate is the combat style karate that, that more mimics realistic combat style fighting. St. Pierre's early experiences with bullying fueled his desire to master martial arts. He transitioned from karate to other disciplines, including Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, jiu wrestling, and Muay Thai, laying the foundation for his future success in the MMA. GSP made his UFC debut in 2004, and he quickly made a name for himself with his um, work ethic and high skill. But what really put him on the map, okay, was 2006 when he defeated Matt Hughes for the UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. After a loss to Hughes in their first encounter, GSP came back stronger, defeating him in their rematch to become the UFC Welterweight Champion. This victory marked the beginning of a legendary career with GSP P defending his title multiple times and solidifying his legacy as one of the greatest fighters ever. What may have truly been the most impressive part of round one for St. Pierre was when he got bear hugged by Hughes, he didn't go down. Absolutely, we have not seen anybody stop Matt Hughes' takedown bullies, with the exception of maybe BJ Penn for the first two rounds, but then trying to do that. I'll tell you one thing, Neither, neither guy's gonna, yeah, I understand, you know. Rogan's not here, so you gotta say something like that. I get it. Just to know, just to let Joe know we're thinking of him. Oh, yeah. nice, the foot! So dynamic, this guy. So many different tools in his toolkit. And so much stronger mentally than he was at the war of 04 at UFC 50 when they first met. Oh, nice stiff jab. Hero worship is gone. Caught him again. He's keying off Matt's jab, slipping outside and throwing a long jab of his own. It's, oh! oh thank you! Thank you! Oh, he's hurt! St. Pierre tries to finish it! He's big time hurt! With the elbows! And it is! And it's over! George St. Pierre is the new welterweight 
Olympic champion! Unbelievable shot! All right, so now we're going to take a look at some of GSP's most iconic and notable moments in the UFC. In 2006, GSP's rematch with Matt Hughes at UFC 65, where he won welterweight, where he won the welterweight championship by TKO in the second round, is one of the most memorable moments in UFC history. Between 2007 and 2009, against fighters like Matt Serra, Josh Koscheck, and John Fitch showcasing his dominance in the division. In 2010, GSP faced Dan Hardy at UFC 111, defeating him by unanimous decision to retain his title. 2011, his fight against Jake Shields at UFC 129 saw, 129 saw him defending his title with a dominant unanimous decision victory in front of a record-breaking crowd in Toronto, Canada. In 2013, GSP's fight against John Hendricks at UFC 167 was a tough battle that ended with a controversial split decision in favor of GSP, marking his final defense of the welterweight title. And a little something I remember from that fight was there, was there was a lot of rumors around after the fight that Johnny Hendricks was possibly using PEDs. But this was never ever proven, so it is just hearsay. But it's something I heard th through the rumor, the rumor mill after the fight there. 2017, GSP made a triumphant return to the octagon after a four year hiatus, defeating Michael Bisbing at UFC 217 to become the UFC middleweight champion, making him a two division champion. He's going to empty the tank. He understands. He understands that he could be gassing a little. He's, he's on the back. Get off the back. It's he's over. It. It's he's over, it. Joe. It's over, Joe. It's over, Joe. It's he's over. George St. Pierre has done it. He is the new UFC middleweight champion. Okay, now I want to, I want to just bring up some interesting maybe stories you don't know about GSP or some personal stories. I think I have a few stories here to tell that I've, when I was searching the internet or what I've heard through the years, because I've been following UFC for a long time. So one of the stories that I've heard is one, is his battle with obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. Despite his success, GSP has been open about his struggle with OCD. This condition drove him to perfectionism in every aspect of his life, including his training. While it helped him in, in achieve greatness, it also took a toll on his mental health. GSP once confessed that he, his OCD got, was so out of control that he obsessed so much with his training and he trained so hard that he'd be exhausted after training. And then this had a big effect on his mind and his body, right? And this, this, this is what made him, in 2013 is when he took the layoff, because he needed a break for his mental well-being. Another personal story that most people don't know about is that uh, George St. Pierre was living out of his car before his UFC career started. So he's living out of his car in Montreal. Yeah, so he moved there to train with Farad Sahabi. The coach he's been with for a long time. So he moved there to train with him, but times were tough. He didn't have much money, so he's sleeping in his car with minimal money, like I said, he had minimal funds. And from time to time, his friends and fellow teammates give him a helping hand just to help him get by. It was during these challenging times that GSP's resolve was truly tested. His dedication to becoming a world champion never wavered. This period of struggle and perseverance is a testament of his character and the relentless spirit that would define his career. And here's another interesting story about George St. Pierre, okay? He has, when he was, ever since he was a kid, he's had a fascination with dinosaurs, okay? <laughs> so he has a fascination with dinosaurs, even going as far as putting many hours studying 
about the history of dinosaurs. And he even goes to museums to learn even more about dinosaurs. This, this question is for George. It's about one of your other passions and what everyone's here to hear us talk about. Dinosaurs! Let's hear it. All right, so the question is your top three pound for pound dinosaur species and why? Well, I, I, <laughs> that, I don't know if... <laughs> <laughs> number one, dr Dromiosaur. I think they're the number one. All the Dromiosaur. Number two, I would say. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous now. Is nobody on, probably understand what I'm talking about? What is the Dromiosaur? Dr dromiosaur. You, you you guys all seen Jurassic Park? The, the raptors. The Dromiosaur are the family of do that kind of dinosaur. So I think the Dromiosaur. They're they're. For dinosaur perspective, they're very smart. They're, they're, they have a lot of weapon, claws, uh, teeth. They, some of them could fl glide and land on their on their prey. So I think they're the, the number one. And, and uh, if I go, that's for the predatory animal. Then for the uh, herbivore, I would say ankylosaurus. All the ankyl ankylosaurus, it's like a turtle-like dinosaur with a, a hammer at the tail. So it could defend itself very well. So there you go. You have it. Thank you. What about Barney? Barney, we got Barney. Barney is a Tyrannosaurus is very good too. T Rex is bone crushing uh, bite power, so he's he's right up there. Brontosaurus, what do you think? Brontosaurus, he's big, you know, he's big, but till the time he get to that size, sometimes he doesn't make it. Most of most of most of it doesn't make it. Always prepare that. George. One of the things that also set GSP apart from the rest was his unmatched training regime. He was known for meticulous preparation. He put a lot of effort into his strength training, cardiovascular training, and sports-specific training to master the craft of MMA. GSP's training routines include intense workouts, focus on explosiveness, endurance, and technical precision. His dedication to cross-training in various disciplines such as gymnastics and Olympic weightlifting showcases commitment to being the best all-around fighter. Beyond the physical, GSP was also known or is also known for his mental toughness. He's known for detailed game plans and, and using psychological strategies for overcoming his opponents. St. Pierre's ability to stay calm under pressure, adapt to different fighting styles, and execute his strategies flawlessly made him a formidable, formidable opponent. His philosophy of continuous improvement and never being complacent kept him at the pinnacle of the sport. GSP retired as one of the greatest champions in UFC history. He leaves behind a legacy that inspires many fighters and fans. His influence extends beyond the octagon, okay? He continues to be a role model for dedication, resilience, and excellence. His influence extends beyond the octagon as he continues to be a role model for dedication, resilience, and excellence. From his charitable work to his mentorship of young fighters, GSP's impact on the sport and the community is profound. He's a true ambassador for MMA, showing that with hard work and perseverance, anything is possible. George St. Pierre's journey from a bullied kid in Quebec, Canada to a UFC legend is testament to his dedication, resilience, and perseverance. George St. Pierre truly embodies what a workout warrior is. So take inspiration from GSP, train hard, stay focused, and never give up on your dreams. Well, I never try something in life without being ready to fail. I mean, you don't want to fail, but sometimes you have to fail. And failure is the greatest teacher. It's part of the process. And you cannot let, let the fear of failure paralyzing you. The way you overcome the fear is by preparing yourself the best you can and building up your confidence. When you build up your confidence, you have the right to be confident. And confidence is not the absence of fear, it's knowing that you have what you need in order to succeed. 
So there is no courage without fear. So just do it. Go for it. Can I have a hug? That was amazing. No. All right, so I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like, to physically like the video or tap like the video. Subscribe to the channel so you can get more Workout Warrior spotlights, more Workout Warrior motivational stuff and fitness content. Again, I'm Sean Campbell. So yeah, thanks for checking out the video. And I look forward to seeing you next time.